what would happen if you showed up to a photo shoot and they told you that you were gonna shoot nude and you had no idea? I would walk out. If someone was not clear with me that I was shooting nude, I would not be going to the shoot. <laughs> Red flag run. Why can't the models from America's Next Top Model use their pictures that they take on the show in their professional book? Why does it not help them? I'm gonna go straight to the source. My name is Leatrice, and I'm 23, and I've been modeling for four or five years now. Hi, everyone. I'm Zoe. <laughs> and how long have you been modeling for? For about 10 years. My name is Greta Brooks, and I've been modeling for about seven, eight years. My name is Kati, and I've been modeling 14 years. My name is Sonia Esman, and I've been modeling since I was 18 years old. So that makes it nine years. Uh, my name is Izzy Donnelly, and I have been modeling for seven years. I mean, she's a pro. You guys have seen her in the videos. It's no surprise. This is Izzy. We love her. <laughs> what kind of photos does your agency like and put in your book? That's a good question. It's usually studio, very plain background, very masculine clothes a lot. Or there's some bikini to show that like I can do that too. Both of my agencies really like um, kind of like simple, uh, kind of muted tone images. Cool photos. They love your photos. I know that your photo is actually my like main photo headshot of really? me. Yeah, they loved I'm that honored. photo. LA, my LA agency really likes like high fashion editorial type stuff. And my New York agency tends to like a little more of like the neutral colors and that kind of stuff. A mix of stuff, a mix of commercial, editorial. A lot of different markets will choose different things as well. So it all depends on the market of what your agency's in. Very simple, casual. Um, but still, that shows your personality, your kind of um, charisma. A lot of beauty stuff for me, a lot of um, skincare, like portrait things for me. Um, and that's because I'm in LA and that's like what I am generally get booked for. New York would be more like editorial, probably like more fashion stuff, full body. Like I like to smile in all my book forever. It's like two, three pictures are smiling. And that's why kind of clients are booking me. Generally, I think that they like all kinds of photos, just to show people how diverse you can look. Are there any photos your agencies wouldn't use? Like, you know, this is not gonna go in the book. Um, I don't think my agents would use photos where the styling is very basic, but like they wouldn't use any photos where it's like me in like jeans and a graphic tee. I guess it really depends because they do like my book to be well-rounded where there's like, makeup beauty photos of me. They also like, for me, like I have a couple more like sporty, athletic, streetwear. I do a lot of beauty, so they tend to gravitate towards putting beauty in my book as well. So anything with great beauty, they'll like. They have just like a well-rounded book, so it's not really like they don't like a photo. It's just like what makes me more marketable, I guess, for the type of modeling I'm gonna be doing. They tend to not use, I mean, of course, things like e-com. They never use that. My personal Instagram pictures, even though they are pretty great sometimes, like selfies and probably very heavy makeup and editing. Things with a ton of makeup they usually don't like. They like to definitely like see your natural face and skin and everything. Oh, super overly edited. Like if it's like doesn't look like you at all, like too much makeup and like very overly edited. Um, that or like overly saturated, anything that's just not necessarily like true to, to what you look like, they, they never use those. Are there any specific things your agencies may not like in your photos? Like any type of styling, any type of makeup? I think they don't care for when I have too much going on. As I said before, like it's mainly if it's like over filtered, over saturated and overly makeup, if that's even a sentence. Big things like this is good, you know, like this is pretty simple, but like just like big dresses or like big head pieces or pretty much just anything that covers like your natural body or hair or face or whatever. Maybe it relates more to me personally, but for some reason my agency never put the pictures of like big brand campaigns that I've done. I'm not sure if that's like that's a great all, answer all across actually, the yeah. board, yeah. But when I did like the big Furla campaign, for example, they never put that in my book. Even though that was like the most impressive work I've done, in my opinion, they didn't use it. So do you know what you're getting into like for the photo shoot before yeah. you get into it? Definitely, yeah. The, the call sheet they send when you get a shoot um, has like the photographer, phone number, like yours did. And then like 
any warnings like nude or sheer or bikinis. Like you always get a warning if you're doing bikini too. Do you usually know what kind of photo shoot it is before you go to it? Um, yeah, always. Um, on paid jobs, it, I usually don't know the concept. I might know a general concept. I might know it's for summer or it's for winter or it's swim. I'll know like that. I'll like know the general thing I'm shooting. But I most of the time don't know the full concept and I kind of learn when I go on set. If I'm doing a test, um, there's people like you that I don't need to ask for a concept because I know that whatever we do is going to be great. And then when I tend to shoot with someone I haven't shot with before, I'll ask for like a concept just to know that I also am interested in shooting that. It's kind of weird if you don't know anything about it. Like you, you have to know how long is the shoot, what kind of style, like what is the what kind of team is going to be. Like uh, there is usually uh, you know the list of people and you can check it out. So you know everything, even if it's client or test shoot, you always know. What would happen if you showed up to a photo shoot, it was just going to be just maybe a creative shoot or test shoot, and they told you that you were going to shoot nude, and you had no idea? I would walk out. I'm pretty strong about my boundaries, and if it's something that I didn't know I was doing or didn't consent to prior or not knowing who the photographer is, like all of the details beforehand, I wouldn't just do it because go with the flow. I have to stand to what makes me feel comfortable and what's good for me and how I feel. Is it normal to do a photo shoot like the day of and then they're like, hey, it's going to be nude and you had no idea and you just show up and they're like, you're not going to be wearing anything? No, I would cancel. And I love that. don't like canceling, but if you were not, if someone was not clear with me that I was shooting nude, I would not be going to the shoot. <laughs> I think I would call my agent and let them know and then my agent would call them just so that I don't have to confront them and tell them that I probably won't do that or that they should have told me. And my agent would ask me if I'm okay with doing that, and if I said no, then obviously they would shut it down. Um, no, <laughs> I would be really uncomfortable. <laughs> um, I would probably call my agent, complain, and walk out. Is it normal for a, a model to just show up and then the guy's like, okay, we're just gonna, you're just gonna be nude today? I haven't had to do like a full nude shoot before. Um, I've had, Photographers asked if I was comfortable with shooting with like showing body and skin and for the most part if I feel comfortable I will say yes but you know if it's someone I don't know or like it's not like for a reputable person or anything then I will say no and move on. <laughs> it's, that's not normal is it? So no. I usually definitely get a warning. Um, I even get a warning if there's something like sheer, like even if it's not complete nude, but like you're going to see your nipples or something. I always get a warning. What would happen if you went to a photo shoot, like a test shoot, mm -hmm. and the photographer told you that you're going to do a nude photo shoot and you had no idea? Uh, it's inappropriate, absolutely. It's uh, just red flag run. Oh, that's a great question. I, um, what would happen is I should immediately call my agent and say, hey, this is what's up. I didn't, I wasn't aware of this. And then immediately the agent will be on your side and be like, that's not the deal. Unless that was the deal. And it was like implied nudity in like a artistic intentional way, but never just feel obliged to do it because you don't need to do anything like that ever. Is that normal for the, just a day of to be like, oh, we're doing nude and you didn't know? No. <laughs> Not normal. It's not normal for you to show up to a photo shoot and they're like, hey, we're going to shoot nude and you didn't know. No. It's like uh, only if, uh, actually when you go to the agency, uh, they ask you questions. What kind of shoots are you ready to do it? If uh, you put it no nude, nobody going to even offer that. So usually it's not normal for me. Maybe some girl said, yes, it's okay. Then there is no questions. As long as you know before, yeah, they yeah. tell you, you, yeah, you have okay, to know as long before. as you know. Okay. All, these, all details you have to know before. So I hope that this answers the question, why can't the girls from America's Next Top Model use these photos in their book? Hope that the models answered it. I think you guys did an amazing job at explaining the ins and outs, what you guys would put in your book, what you guys wouldn't. It's a good video idea, by the way. I'm just now learning about this, but yeah. Thank you. Great idea. Thank you. Yeah, we got information. We heard from so many different models and models who have done different campaigns and brands. Sonia has been in Vogue. So I feel like if anyone has, you know, the experience and the knowledge, it would be the models that I've interviewed today. And they're great friends of mine. So that helps too. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.